Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. So in this video, we will share break iOS 18.1 and it should also work on any versions after that as long as it is supported by the parent jailbreak so this method will only work on all of your parent supported devices yes it will also work on your other ios 17 devices which are supported by the parent jailbreak the method shown in this video is completely free and you can see the version here on itunes as well and on this device as well it is iOS 18.1 and after the successful jailbreak I will also show you how you can install Cydia on it and along with that we will also install troll store and we will also get the tweaks up and running fixing the mobile substrate error for this we will jailbreak root full you can also jailbreak root less if you want which we will discuss later in this video now for this we will have to prepare a USB flash drive so that we can use it on your Windows PC to jailbreak your devices. We will be using PLNX and we are at its official GitHub page. Again, it is completely free. Simply get here and then go to releases and get the latest release available. So for your 64-bit computers, you can get the x86 64 ISO file from here to your PC first which as you can see it right here I already got the ISO next you will need Rufus so that we can flash this ISO file to our USB flash drive you can get Rufus from its official website simply go here scroll down and then get from here to your Windows PC Rufus is also completely free now simply open Rufus right click and run it as administrator all right when rufus opens up simply connect a usb flash drive to your pc i am using this 2gb usb flash drive also make sure you back up all data from your usb flash drive because using this method the data on your usb flash drive will be deleted now simply drag and drop the iso file onto rufus you don't have to change anything from here but if you prefer you can change the partition scheme so if you are using a legacy bios mbr is okay and for uefi bios change it to gpt now hit start and make sure you select right in dd image mode and then hit ok hit ok again and wait for the process to finish all right once it is complete you will see ready here and your usb is now ready simply close out of rufus and then restart your computer into the boot manager all right after restarting the computer with your usb flash drive attached go to the boot manager you can go to the boot manager mostly by f9 or f12 depending on your computer's manufacturer also make sure fast boot and secure boot is off in bios you can turn them on after the jailbreak process safely now as you can see i have this usb flash drive which we just made i will simply hit on it and then it will load palenix all right so we are at the palenix menu now at this point simply attach your usb cable to your device and on your device you will see this message to trust this computer hit trust now on palenix simply go to the third option which is shell simply hit it and here type pale rain hyphen f and c this will create the fake fs first for rootful if you want to do root less you can do hyphen l all right for me i am using rootful so f c press enter and your device will go into recovery mode as you can see it right here now press enter and it will go into dfu 
you can simply follow the instructions all right as you can see the process is ongoing all right so if it is stuck at booting pongu os like this on your device you can simply unplug it and replug it quickly and you can see it worked this time and then it will now create the fake fs first for root 4 you can see it on device this process can take about 10 minutes so please leave it here all right once the fake fs is done for root 4 your device will automatically go into recovery mode now on the pale next shell simply type pale rain hyphen f without c because now we will simply boot the fake fs we just created press enter again press enter and get your device into GFU mode by simply following the instructions on screen. Again, if it is stuck at booting Pangu OS and on your device also, simply unplug and replug it quickly and it will work. As you can see it right here, booting kernel is done and now my device will start. You can see the splash screen for Palerin now. Once your device boots up, you will see the pale rain loader right here on your screen now let's set it up before that let's go back to windows type here exit press enter now simply go to reboot and hit ok now remove the usb and let it boot all right all right on your device you can now simply open the pale rain loader make sure your Wi-Fi is connected and you can see it is the same device on iOS 18.1. Let's open it. Now from there you can first of all install Celio. Simply hit it and then hit install Celio. Once complete now simply set a passcode of your choice then hit set all right and then you will see Celio on your home screen let's open it first and then check out the version so ios 18.1 on this device so we have some upgrades i will go to packages and then upgrade all then hit done now to prepare your device to install and run your tweaks, you can simply head to sources and make sure the source allocate.space is added. Go to all categories and from here, first of all, install allocate. Then do a user space reboot. After allocate is installed, open Cilio again. Go to search and here search for preference loader. Simply install it so that you can see the preferences for your tweaks in settings you will get it and install it as well hit done and you are good to go you are now prepared to install and run your tweaks now first of all let's install cydia now we will have to get the dev file for cydia you can simply open safari and get the dev file for cydia from here you will see the link in the description or in the paint comment it is completely free now hit download and get the dev file from here to your device simply hit it then hit this share button from there share it to Celio. you will see cdia installer get cured and confirm to install all the packages once complete hit it done go back and you will see Cydia on your home screen let's open it we will first of all check out version so it is iOS 18.1 as you can see it right here now in changes you can upgrade the packages once complete simply return to Cydia if it is not working you can go back and then hit this close button above 
you can see you are good to go everything works without any issues now to show you that yes you can install tweaks using Cydia I will go to search and search for troll store light you can use troll store helper as well but this is the new method it is easy so I will go with troll store light install and confirm once complete hit close above go back and you will see troll store light here open it and you are good to go you can simply hit this add button to install your IPA on your device also please note that this troll store on this device on this version I was 18 will only work while your device is jailbroken so if you will remove the jailbreak it will not work now let's again open Cydia and install a tweak as a test so I will search for Ampere let's install it confirm once done simply close because on Cydia the restart springboard button will not work after closing now to respring you can simply open the parent loader then go to options then go to utilities and from there you can restart springboard once done go in go to settings and on iOS 18 you will not find the tweak preferences right in settings but you can find it in general so I will go to general and there you can find Ampere or the tweak you installed I will simply go to it and enable it to see if it works you can see it worked you can see the battery I can change here and in Ampere you can see it is enabled now if you want to return back to stock on your device it is easy you can do it on device you can simply open the parent loader and then hit clean fake FS so that you can revert the root for fake FS and then hit clean fake FS again your device will reboot and when you are back you can see the jailbreak is now removed you can simply UI cache or you can simply hide these icons behind a folder that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care